You can now publish your mobile games to GX games, which is much easier than publishing to Android or iOS. It's also free and very convenient for your players because they can play your game through any mobile browser without having to install a separate app. In this video, we'll be publishing an existing mobile game to GX games and also testing it on a phone. There is a written version of this tutorial and two additional tutorials for adding multi-touch and handling mobile resolution, which are all linked down in the description. So let's get started. I'll start up GameMaker and create a new project from the Fire Jump template. This already has a mobile resolution and touch input, so it's perfect for testing the new mobile export. Give it a name and hit let's go. Now go up here and make sure the Opera GX target is selected, then run the game. Your game will open in Opera GX, so to test it locally, you don't need to have Opera GX on your phone, but you need it on your computer. Below the game itself, you will see a few buttons, scroll down if you don't, then press the Show Opera GX QR Code button which is specifically for Opera GX Mobile. If you're using a different browser on your phone, then press the button on the left. Now open your phone's camera and scan this code. You will get a prompt to open it on your browser, so you'll need to press that. The cat is optional. You might get a permission related pop-up, so if you do, just allow that. The game will load and it'll be playable on your phone. It's currently testing offline by connecting to your computer, so it's not uploaded yet. We'll get to that in a second, but before that, a quick side note. You can use any browser on your phone to test your game, but I would recommend using Opera GX because going forward, it's going to have the easiest integration with GameMaker's IDE, especially for debugging. Now let's publish this mobile game to GX Games. Back in GameMaker, I'll click on Create Executable. If you get this, just check this so it doesn't ask you again. Sign into Opera. And after you've done that and the game is done uploading, click on Edit Game on Opera. This will open DevCloud where you may need to sign in again. Once you've done that and you're on your game's details page, find the Platforms option and enable Mobile so GX Games knows that your game is playable on mobile. If your game only supports mobile and doesn't support desktop, then you can disable that option. Now let's save and confirm this and go to the publishing tab. I'll enable the private version and then click here to copy its URL which links to an unlisted or private version of your game. You can now send this link to your mobile and play it from there. So I'll just email this to myself and open the email from my phone. You might have a better way of doing this. Once you open that link on your phone, you'll be able to play your game through any browser. You can even share this link with your friends and family and they'll be able to play your game on their phones. If you want to know how to publish your game for all the players on GS Games, there's a tutorial for that linked down in the description. Now it's super important for your game to have touch controls, unless you're using one of these ancient phones for some reason, and also for it to have or at least support a vertical aspect ratio. So in the description, I've linked two tutorials, one that covers multi-touch and adding a virtual joystick, and one that covers mobile resolution and even adaptive scaling if you want your game to support both desktop and mobile. So go ahead and make some fun mobile games. If you want to make your own multiplayer game for free, watch this tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.